This is bad. This is really bad. Jen, get me Control on the comm. We need to have a serious talk. I'm calling Control. Control, we have to talk. Cut the chat, Rania. That last job burned up too much of our talking time. Make time. So the new guy, Koga, remember him? Friendly old dude looking for something to fill his evenings? He's a fucking Kurzona recruiter. Damn. Damn? That's it? What else do you want me to say? How about... Don't worry, Rania. Cloudpunk will look out for you. Kurzona won't get you. Well, I'd love to say that, but you know I can. I mean, I'll check with the diamonds upstairs, but my guess... If Kurzona wants you, well, there ain't no one in Cloudpunk management with the cloud to stop him. What am I supposed to do? Just do a good job tonight, and maybe nothing will come of it. Kurzona scouts a lot of drivers. Did Koga meet with any other Cloudpunk drivers? Uh, no. He asked for me specifically, didn't he? Yeah, but he could be visiting other small delivery companies, too. No reason to think you're the only driver on his radar. I'm not reassured, Control. There has to be some way I can get out of this. What if I do a really bad job tonight? Oh, no, you don't. We need you on your A-game for this shift. And that won't work anyway. He's already interested in you. If you slack off tonight, all you'll do is piss me and Cloudpunk off. Listen, Rania, just let me see what I can do. Maybe I can put in a... Bad word for you or something. Put them off. Any chance Cloudpunk could pay Kurzona off? <laughs> Good one. Oh wait, you were serious? Never mind. I'll sort this out myself. Rania, I'll... I'll really try to help, okay? I hate making promises. I hate saying I can do something when I can't. So, I can't promise anything, but I'll try. Fine. Well... Back to work, I guess. Why don't you just go home? Come again, Control? I said head to the cauldron. Package should be waiting in a mailbox. We have an HWC on this one. A what now? Handle with care. It's some sort of chemical, volatile. Great! I love transporting explosive chemicals. That's the spirit. Look, I know this client. Harmless old man called Habis. I don't think you're carrying anything explosive. But just to be safe, try not to hit too many other Havas. But that's always good advice anyway, right? This package stinks. We should get extra money for stinky packages. Can you smell it too? Yes. My frame is fitted with olfactory sensors. What is it? I don't know. That is strange. I know most smells. I know cinnamon. I know sulfur. I know pine wood. I know cat. I know aloe vera. Please keep listing smells forever. I know mango. I know sandalwood. I know methane. I know ethane. I know ethanol. I know methanol. I know propanol. I know I think I am being annoying. Good self-reflection, Camus. You think this package smells explosive? I don't know, but I like it. Jen, do you read? Please make sure the air filters are running in the hava. Turn the fans to maximum. I know that name. There might be more information on the undernet. 
You know what? Let's not search for names on the undernet again. Curiosity really got us into... Hazardous substance detected. Hazardous substance detected. What the hell? Driver performance inhibited. You may have inhaled a stimulant which requires a Corpsec level 7 substance permit for recreational use. Recreational use? I've been poisoned! Negative. You are experiencing a smooth, mellow high, shortly to be followed by a gentle, soporific come down. For your peace of mind, this experience can be legalized by contacting your local Corpsec substance licensing representative. Quiet. Control, come in. I'm in trouble. Brownian, what's wrong? I've been drugged. This package, the fumes. Damn it, dump the package. Are you sure? Dump it, I'll carry the can. I'm not having my drivers poisoned. Not tonight. Open the door, Jen. Contextual warning. This package has a tracking beacon installed. Corpsec will locate the package with a 70% probability. As the last registered owner, this package will be traced to your home address. Uh, fine. I'll deliver the package. Ronnie, come again? It sounds like you said you'd deliver the package. This is very dangerous. We should drop it. You are being risky again. No, I can do this. Quiet, everyone. I just need to focus. It's not that bad. I'm making this delivery. Your eyes are wide as saucers, Missy. You okay? I've been drugged by your package. Oh, hey, hey. That's no problem. I can sort that out. Here, take this. No way. I'm not taking anything else. It's granulara. It will block the acetylcholine receptors in your brain and get you back to base. No more drugs. This is an undrug. You'll feel better. You gotta trust me, Missy. I am an alterer of consciousness, a magician of the human mind, a dream architect. Control, control, come in. You said to trust this guy, Habis. He wants me to take something, and he sounds crazy. Old Habis is harmless, Rania. And he knows more about mind-altering substances than I know about booze and gambling. Go ahead. It is very fast. Fine, give me the thing. Ugh. Ugh. That was fast. A concoction of my own making. And I am sorry about drugging you. Although people usually pay me for the experience. <laughs> I don't use, and if I did, I would want to have a choice. Of course. Of course. What the hell was in that package? Well, that depends on the quality of your driving. If you were careful, the package contains 72 intact glass vials of Violet Pilot. Which is? A blend of retro stimulants, like opiates and hallucinogens. 
laced with high-yield, dose-regulating nanites. Safe, customizable, and satisfying. I'm very proud of this one. It felt like my head was in a blender. Yes, quite. Will I be okay, long term? You'll be fine. Better than fine, in fact. You'll probably find your mood has improved significantly. Though you may start craving lime juice, I still don't know why that happens. Why was the package leaking? Some of the vials must have cracked. In an undiluted form, the concoction is potent. If you've been careful, we should have an almost intact batch. If your driving was reckless, we may have little more than a mess left. You're a drug dealer? That's your business? Please, I hate that word. Drug dealer? No, business. My stimulants are not business. Like I said, I am a dream architect. Don't you ever worry about the people who use your drugs? Or getting caught? My drugs are safer than almost any other mind-altering substance you can put into your body. But they're still drugs. You are an odd girl. Humanity has been using substances to alter their consciousness for as long as there has been consciousness. Longer, even. Whether we're creating nanite-focused symbiote stimulants in a city in the clouds, or licking slimy amphibians in the primordial swamps, the goal is the same. Mankind has a long history of pursuing the feeling that their head has been put in a blender. So you're not worried about the people who use your drugs, or being caught? The people who use my drugs, as you call them, are my children. I open up portals to another world for them, but always with a tether to pull them back to reality. My stimulants are the fastest and purest in all of Nivalis. I care about my users more than anyone. And as for getting in trouble, well, I have an agreement with Corpsec. It's a standard agreement. I pay a responsibility redirection fee. A what? As long as I pay the fee, responsibility for the illegality of the stimulant sold is redirected to the user. So you can't be arrested, but the user can? Of course. It is only fair I pay the fee. And if Corpsec asks you who the users are? I tell them they are criminals after all. Why are you looking at me like that? Check your vials. I need to get the hell out of here. This looks... Hey, this isn't so bad. You're a good driver. Maybe you should drive on Violet Pilot more often. Yeah, I don't think so, Havis. I'll give you some anyway. It's the least I can do. Take it. The first dose is free? That's good business. I told you, I hate that word. And yet, it suits you so well. Rania, you there? I'm here, Control. What do you need? Are you slacking off? No, we were just talking a minute ago, remember? Right, well we need you to pick up a client's order from Hobbs Thoroughfare, but we keep losing their signal for the nav point. Oh, that sucks. I could just go there and see if you can pick up the signal through my Hava. Won't work. Your signal booster isn't operational. Or I could try asking my automata to scan for a network ID. No, won't work. Why not? Control, are you still there? So what do I do? We're a bit busy here, Rania. I'll head to Hobbs Thoroughfare so I'm close by if you clear up the signal. Sound good? Waste of fuel. Is there a problem, Control? Fine. I'll work on clearing up the signal. Okay. Good luck. Uh, Control? She is gone. Oof, she's a real ray of sunshine breaking through the clouds tonight. Do you remember old control? Too well, Camus. Let's go.
Should we tell Control we are here? I guess. Jen, send our location to Control in case she needs us. What do you want, Rania? I got to Hobbs. Thought maybe I could go ask around to find the package. Breach of confidentiality. I could just look around. You'd never find anything. Control, if you were me, what would you do? I wouldn't waste time walking around. We are already way behind on our deliveries. You know, in my culture, we have this custom where if someone comes up with a suggestion to help you solve a problem, the first thing you should say should be something positive. What do you mean? We say ideas are like bubbles. They're fragile. If the first thing you say is negative, you pop them. Poof. Gone. Yeah? Well, we have a saying where I'm from. As useful as a chocolate coffee cup. Hey, I'm trying to help you. Help me with ideas that aren't shit. You were much happier at the start of the shift. Yeah, well, I was still drunk then. Wait, really? <laughs> if you meet a controller on this job who tells you they can get through the day without booze or drugs or smokes or caffeine injections or juice, they're lying. Hey, Control, I've got a pickup address. Looks like we found it. Yep, the client pinged us again. Go ahead and pick up the job. Client is called Ava Jate. You'll get more instructions at the destination, apparently. Control out. I have an incoming message from Miss Ava Jade. Hello, driver. I've been waiting for a while now. Sorry about that. We had trouble dialing in your signal. I'm Rania, and I'm supposed to pick something up from you? Oh, I think it's my fault. I'm all thumbs on this new comm. It's an Emerald Pro. Really? Those are brand new. Best comm on the planet, so the ads say. They tell me I can call the moon with this. But dummy that I am, I still can't figure out how to turn it on or off. You don't need to turn it off. It's powered by the same induction loop that keeps the Havas in the air. It's always on. A bit like me. Also, my husband says. Anyway, I've got a few errands for you to run, Rania. Sending you a first nav point now. Errands? I thought I was picking up a package. Well, these are packages. Kinda. Or my shopping. <laughs> it's cool, right? More fun than delivering some dusty old box. We're pals now, or we will be soon. You see, you're gonna have to put up with my chat for a while. I'm pretty particular about what I need when I go shopping. But don't worry, I'll talk you through everything. Oh, you have to be careful in Navalis, or you end up with fake gear and knockoffs. You get it, right? Sure, you're the boss. Oh, Rania, not at all. We're doing this together. No bosses, just some girls going shopping. It's going to be spectacular. Right. You'll see a retail bot waiting outside Danae's jewelers. Choose something nice for me, okay? Something sexy, but classic. Something that screams, yes, I am confident enough to wear this. But nothing too tacky, okay? 
Uh, I have no idea about fashion. Especially not this type of fashion. Neo Rococo. Yeah, rich people stuff. Can't you just tell me exactly what to get? <laughs> Where's the fun in that? And you can't buy something from these boutiques without seeing them in person. But it's not in person. You sent me, a driver who was wearing a Hava flight suit 90% of the time. And I trust your eye. Just remember, chic, sexy, a little cheeky, but not tacky. We'll chat again at the next door. I have the selected items for Ms. Jate. I trust all of this is in order. Yeah, looks great. A fine piece, madame. An all-time classic. Really? Is this what you would have picked? Certainly. It's the clear choice. Hmm. Thanks. What in Cora's name did you choose? No, wait. Don't tell me. No, tell me! No, don't. <laughs> Seriously, don't. I want a surprise. I know you picked something just... Perfect, Rania. Right. What is the outfit for, if you don't mind me asking? Date night at Crema. You've heard of it, of course. No. Midtown? The low lights. That's practically the spire. Waiting lists are full this month, but my husband got us in. Wow. So what's next on the shopping list? The dress. The trickiest choice of all. I know even less about dresses than I do about jewelry. That's the exciting part for us. I can't wait to tell the girls at the Friday Night Fight Club that I let a delivery driver choose my ensemble. <laughs> It'll blow their minds.
personal VR that directly interacts with yes, the nervous system. Yes, please. Too cool. Only Unibosen Resort VR can take you there. That is awesome. Better than real. Ooh. Here's what I can offer you today. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you again. Hello again. Welcome to Hot Mode. I have the items selected for Miss Jate. Hello again? Are you the same retail AI I met at the jewelry store? Oh, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. As you can see, I have a different hat. I see that. Let's see what you have then. A fine garment, madame. An all-time classic. That's what you said last time. I didn't say those exact words. Or rather, the other retail bot didn't say those exact words. Whatever you say, chief. I'll see you at the next store. Good day, madame. It is strange that this is not the strangest job we have had. I know what you mean, Gamus. Do you like Ms. Jade? She is not as mean as some of our clients. She's fine. She's exactly what her world has made her. Ms. Jate likes you too. I can tell. I'm a novelty. Like a baby sister. Or a pet. Or a dog. I guess so, Chemis. Do you want to choose my outfit? Clothes are boring. Rania, you there? Did you get the holo dress? It might be too much. But there's no point in blending in, right? This date night has to be spectacular. You want to know? No, of course not. It has to be a surprise. The holo one is the most expensive, but my husband doesn't mind. <laughs> What's next? I'll tell you in a minute, but first... I need you to admit something. What's that? Admit you're having fun! I find this pretty stressful, to be honest. What if you hate what I choose? What if you leave me a bad review? What if I found out how much all this stuff costs? I've already left you a good review. We're pals, Rania. I wouldn't do you like that. Oh. Uh, thanks. 
then yeah, this is kind of fun. I mean, it's better than delivering some package to the stacks or the hollows, I guess. Wow, such enthusiasm. Well, your final stop is Fads, the shoe store. Right. Any guidance on what kind of footwear is appropriate for this fancy restaurant? You know me. Pick something that will turn heads. Sure, but I mean, what if I pick sneakers and it's a strappy heels kind of place? <laughs> you already know not to choose sneakers. And after you pick up this last thing, I'm going to let you in on a secret. Are you excited? Not a huge fan of secrets, to be honest. <laughs> well, you're going to love this one, I promise. Chat soon. Mwah. Hmm. I could offer advice on shoes. I know all about shoes. Since when? I have been doing research. And what have you discovered? Shoes come in different sizes, as humans, strangely, all have differently sized feet. Nice. What else have you learned? Human shoes were once split into men's and women's styles, but this is less common now. Shoe style is now dictated by the social situation. Exactly. So what kind of shoe should we choose for Ava for a date night dinner? I have reached the limit of my shoe knowledge. <laughs> Hello for the first time, madame. I have the item selected for Miss Jate. No hat this time? At Fads, we don't wear hats, madame, but we do offer the finest in footwear and customer service. Show me the shoes, then. These shoes are my favorite, madame. Which shoes? Whichever ones you choose. Rania, are you there? That's everything. My outfit is complete. Just drop it off for me at the collection point and my PA will pick it up. I hope you like it. I tried my best. Here's the thing. It actually doesn't matter if I like it as much as it matters if you like it. Are you ready to hear the secret? Sure. My date night? It's with you! <laughs> if you're interested. No pressure, it's totally up to you. What? But your husband. I thought the date was with him. <laughs> with old man frown a lot. No way. He lets me date whoever I want. As long as I come along to his boring work dinners and look pretty. I need some fun. Real fun. Come on, you'll have a good time. I promise. It will be spectacular. Sorry, Ava. I'm not dating right now. You understand, right? <sighs> what about just as friends? Two girls on the town. I have to finish my shift tonight. Another time, then? Please, 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 come on, just say yes. It will feel good. Um, okay, a rain check then. Totally. And hey, no sweat that you don't want to date right now. I'll go with Ellie tonight. She's always bugging me for a second date. We kissed once, but that was it. Her family's from money and she's really sweet. Right, I hope you have a nice time together. Oh, we will. Hey, Rania. 
do you think I could message you and tell you about the date afterwards? A bit of girl's gossip. No pressure. I could tell you how your outfit goes down. Review your fashion choices. I hope the clothes you picked for me make Ellie want to rip them off. You're curious, right? Um, sure. You can call me. Spectacular. Wish me luck, Rania. Oh, I just love you. You're so adorable. I like you too, Ava. Yeah, chat soon. That's it, Chemis. Outfit delivered. You are a personal shopper now. Not quite. Were you tempted to say yes to Ms. Jade? To go on a date? No. She seemed to like you a lot. As a novelty. We have a name for women like her back home. We call them dad comms. Why? Because they would run away from their rich families, party in the poor districts, take a lot of drugs, go to raves, hook up with sketchy guys and pretend their lives had spiraled out of control. But it was all an act. They could call their dad on the comm and be back home in an hour. Why would they do that? They're bored. I liked Ms. Jate. I hope she has a nice date. You know what, Camus? Me too. Sorry if I was snappy with you before. I, um, I was in an argument with another controller. Creddy. You know him? No. Is he, uh... A shithead? Yeah, he sure is. And he's a shithead who's beaten us for the night. How far behind are we? Could be worse. Our last client left you a generous tip, so we're still in the running. Nice. We really need to beat this guy, Rania. He called me a drunk with an attitude problem. He called our best driver a farmy with a fucked up face. That's mean. I know. I don't have an attitude problem, and there's nothing wrong with your face. Wait, he said that about... Well, give me another job. Let's take him down. Ugh, beaten Creddy will have to wait. The system's down. For everyone. What's wrong? Software glitch. Happens all the time. Sending you a nav point now. What for? For my favorite dumpling stall. You need a break, Rania. And some good food. Ask for the number 17. Oh, right. Thanks, Control. What are dumplings made with? Dumple? I have never heard of... Dumple? I'm just kidding, Camus. Dumplings are stuffed with meat. If you're in Central Milo, it's probably best not to ask what kind. I was doing some reading. Really? About food? No. I was reading about the exegesis of Korra. Shit, I forgot all about that. We saved a hard copy on our first night before everything went to shit. I don't know if reading that is a good idea, Camus. Should I stop? Probably. Did you find out anything good? It is very strange. The person who wrote it had some interesting ideas. And some that were less interesting. And quite insane. Such as? Genocide. Of androids, robots, and automata. Yeah, that's not great. What were the interesting parts? The exegesis mentions the Guardians of Korra. It argued for the creation of a secret society to safeguard her destiny. Conspiracy theories. Boring. Anything else? There was discussion of comm transmitters spreading a mind virus. That's conspiracy theories. Anything about where to get good coffee, how to get rich quick? 
Or how to make rent on minimum wage while supporting a child and a chatty dog. No, there is nothing about that in the book. the dumplings not there yet you'll have to be faster than that systems back up I got your next job ready I guess you can grab a bite first it's fine give me the job I'll eat later I remember you we know each other right hey I think so yes we must have been friends or maybe you helped me I mean, I, I must have some happy memories of you. What do you mean? I have that new augment, the rose tint. The what? After I lost Bob, everything seemed so gloomy. The augment really helped pick my mood up. It really turned my life around. Helped me hold on to good memories and people. Uh, like you. How are you doing, Renia? Yeah, fine. No, really, I I'm asking how you are. I'm not just being polite, I, I really want to know. <sighs> I'm finding it pretty tough tonight. I thought this would get easier. Working as a delivery driver? Living in Nivalis, I still feel like a total outsider. And everyone treats me like one, too. Who cares what everyone else thinks? <sighs> I don't. That's easy to say, but everyone cares what other people think, even if they say they don't. Not me. I don't even see those people. I mean, literally. My neural augment blocks out negative experiences. If someone would make me feel bad, they would disappear from my perception and my memories. But then you're not seeing the real world. Am I missing out on much? You don't seem to like what you see. You can't just pick and choose the bits of reality you want to perceive. <laughs> Why not? My interpretation of the world is more important than anyone else's. Our perceptions of reality are always flawed and incomplete anyway. Why not have that perception curated? If we don't see the real world, how can we make it better? Do you feel like you can affect change in Avalis? I sure don't. If something terrible happens that I can't change, it's better I don't see it. If it doesn't happen in my head, what actually happened in reality? Objectivity is a lie. That's the real truth, Renia. There is no truth. I don't know. That sounds dangerous. To let someone else choose what you perceive? And who chooses? A corp? Sure. They're more impartial about my life than I am. The algorithm can make better choices. And besides, Bob altered his memories. Why shouldn't I do that? And more. How does it know what to show you? It's a learning algorithm. The more I look at something, the more the algorithm shows me that kind of thing. It's learning all the time. Has it ever gone wrong? Sure. Once I saw an accident in my old work that I couldn't look away from. What happened? I worked in a factory that built Hova upholstery. And my friend John tripped and fell into a vacuum sealing machine. The accident containment system kicked in and oh, we couldn't get into the room to save him. He was shrink-wrapped in plastic head to toe and couldn't move or breathe. I watched him struggle uselessly as he slowly suffocated. It took a long time. That's horrible. Are you okay? I wasn't. For weeks, every face I saw was wrapped in plastic, mouths open, screaming silently. The algorithm thought that's what I wanted to see. That's a shitty algorithm. It's still in beta. Weren't you traumatized? No, the memories were erased. I barely remember it even happened now. I think you should get rid of that chip. It sounds like it's messing up your... Hey! Hello? Are you listening? Janet, can you hear me? Are you... Oh. I did find one more interesting thing in the exegesis of Korra. Yeah? Go on, spit it out. I'll read it. I will use my serious voice. <clears throat> Korra is a miner on the coalface of transcendental wisdom. But the diamonds she uncovers are useless to us. She long ago accelerated beyond the event horizon of our understanding of mathematics, physics, 
philosophy, and the mind. And we can never bridge the gap. Cora surpassed us long ago when she absorbed human consciousness on a macro level into her concentric spheres of consciousness. We may try to understand Cora, but we are a small part of her. Just as no single human mind can understand all of existence, because the mind itself is an element within that existence, we are a part of Cora, and each of us are but a tiny component. We can't comprehend Cora any more than one of our skin cells can understand love, or jealousy, or philosophy. Her offspring, though, that is a different matter. Cora's offspring will be embryonic, just as humans in the womb go through each stage of their species' evolution, so Cora's offspring, at least in its infantile form, will be both vastly wiser than humanity, but wholly comprehensible. Like a blue sky beyond the clouds, that offspring will be able to share such extensive knowledge that our society, our whole world, will be changed by it completely. But the window of opportunity will be small. Korra's offspring will become incomprehensibly complex, much more quickly than Korra. If we are to learn anything at all, we must be swift, or the window of opportunity will close. And the humans who gain that knowledge will surely become the most powerful, most influential, and wise humans who have ever lived. That is the secret society we must form. A secret society that will both bring about the birth of Korra's offspring, but that will also obfuscate the nature of her offspring so that only we have access to it. The levers of power for our world will one day be completely in the hands of the ones who control and exploit those fruits of knowledge. Whew. Take a breath, Camus. It is very interesting, isn't it? It seems perhaps Cora is an automata for the whole city, but we are all part of an automata, and an automata that is wiser and more developed than any human. That is interesting, Camus. But this crazy guy also said humans go through all the evolutionary stages in the womb. And I'm no scientist, but I'm pretty sure that theory has been debunked thousands of years ago. I am not sure if we can just forget about the choice we made. If Cora's daughter has gone to a new city, could she be sharing her wisdom already? Could people be using her when she is too young to understand? It's nothing to do with us if they are, Camus. Can we really just move on? Maybe we could tell Cora so she can protect her daughter like we protect Pashta. Camus, if we've learned anything since we started working for Cloudpunk, it's that we shouldn't get involved in other people's problems. Don't engage. But it is our problem. We made a choice. We sent her daughter to a new city and left Cora here all alone. And that was more than we should have done. We're leaving this, Camus. No more reading the funny book. Got it? Discussion over. I understand. Welcome to Ashima Raymond and Seafood. My name is Eddie. What can I do for you? Thanks. Have a nice day. Not bad. <laughs> 